Today we're going to look at how to create an HCI mesh cluster using the new vSAN 7 update 2. Now we have a compute cluster here and the first thing we're going to do is configure these two nodes as a vCN HCI mesh compute cluster. This means they'll be able to access remote vCN data stores even though they lack local storage. Next we're going to mount the existing vSAN cluster that we already have in the other cluster. So we're going to go and mount this. We'll select the data store, the vSAN data hoard, and we'll mount that. Now this is going to run a lot of health checks. This will look, make sure there's not any latency or configuration maximums that we're violating. And once we go ahead and mount this, we'll just wait a second, and this is going to mount that data store so now that this cluster, as well as the existing vSAN cluster, both have access to that data store. This will enable vMotion and other things. Next up, let's create a policy. So we're going to create a policy for some Tomcat web servers we have. Um, within this environment, these policies, um, this policy is going to be leveraged to configure these web servers. We're going to use the vSAN storage rules. And one thing we're going to pay attention to in this case is I want this to always land on a hybrid cluster, not my all flash clusters. So I'm going to specify that. I could also specify I mandate compression or dedupe or encryption. And we're just going to use the default RAID 1 in this case. So now that I've created that policy, I've created a virtual machine. And this virtual machine is a Tomcat web server. And I'm going to change this virtual machine. And rather than have to migrate both the storage and compute, I only need to migrate the compute. Now I can see that the other clusters hosts are available and I can go ahead and migrate there. So I'm going to migrate this virtual machine with high priority. It should only take a couple seconds since I'm only having to do a compute vMotion and not a storage of compute migration. And with that, we've set up HCI Mesh and we've migrated a virtual machine. Thank you.